Chapter 40 Some time later, Pharaoh's chief cupbearer and chief baker offended him. Pharaoh became very angry with these officials, and he put them in the prison where Joseph was, in the palace of Potiphar, the captain of the guard. They remained in prison for quite some time, and Potiphar assigned Joseph to take care of them. One night the cupbearer and the baker each had a dream, and each dream had its own meaning. The next morning Joseph noticed the dejected look on their faces. Why do you look so worried today? he asked, and they replied, we both had dreams last night, but there is no one here to tell us what they mean. Interpreting dreams is God's business, Joseph replied. Tell me what you saw. The cupbearer told his dream first. In my dream, he said, I saw a vine in front of me. It had three branches that began to bud and blossom, and soon there were clusters of ripe grapes. I was holding Pharaoh's wine cup in my hand, so I took the grapes and squeezed the juice into it. Then I placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. I know what the dream means, Joseph said. The three branches mean three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will take you out of prison and return you to your position as his chief cupbearer. And please have some pity on me when you are back in his favor. Mention me to Pharaoh and ask him to let me out of here. For I was kidnapped from my homeland, the land of the Hebrews, and now I'm here in jail. But I did nothing to deserve it. When the chief baker saw that the first dream had such a good meaning, he told his dream to Joseph, too. In my dream, he said, there were three baskets of pastries on my head. In the top basket were all kinds of bakery goods for Pharaoh, but the birds came and ate them. I'll tell you what it means, Joseph told him. The three baskets mean three days. Three days from now, Pharaoh will cut off your head and impale your body on a pole. Then birds will come and peck away at your flesh. Pharaoh's birthday came three days later, and he gave a banquet for all his officials and household staff. He sent for his chief cupbearer and chief baker, and they were brought to him from the prison. He then restored the chief cupbearer to his former position, but he sentenced the chief baker to be impaled on a pole, just as Joseph had predicted. Pharaoh's cupbearer, however, promptly forgot all about Joseph, never giving him another thought.